Hey, this is Mike with the FRC Top 25. And first updates now, we're here with Hall of Fame team 1114 Symbotics here in the Curie Division um, at the 2019 Detroit Championships. And guys, we're here with Evan, Cole, and Nick. This is kind of really special because back in 2013, 1114 was the first team we ever did a behind the bumpers with. So it's really exciting and, and an honor to be back. So, um, Nick, we're going to start with you. Uh, we're going to start with uh, kind of walk us through your intake here on your robot. Yeah, so this is our, our intake. We did a lot of focus on just like quick, go and get it. So we have the roller here. We can start off with that. So we use four mechanum wheels and an Omni wheel. So the mechanums help us center it. So we have these bars here that like, at our first event, we didn't have the bars, and then the ball would just fly past it. So for our second event, we added these bars. So now if Evan does it, it'll just immediately suck it into the robot. And if he outtakes it, it's just back and ready to go again. So that's, so that with the panel intake, our main, idea with the whole robot was just to keep it as simple as possible and as fast as possible. So if he brings the fingers out, yeah, Evan, bring the fingers out. Just see how almost instant it grabs the panel. So if he outtakes it, it does that from the quick release valves on here. And then if he does it again, we make sure that no matter what, this isn't coming off. Even if someone like hits us and we just keep it as sturdy as possible. So now we can probably turn it around and show off the climber. Should we like take it off? Oh, that's fine. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about our climber. A big focus of ours this year was uh, to climb as fast as possible so we could continue doing cycles for as long as we possibly could, scoring as many points, and then getting on with like the last five seconds. So as you can see here, the, the climber is run by four 775 pros, and then it's geared to about, I think, 439 to one. And then that drives uh, this uh, little leg. And then as the leg rotates downwards, the chain bar mechanism acts as sort of like a, a virtual four bar and keeps the entire foot and center column perfectly parallel with the ground. So we can rotate all the way around onto hab level three in about two seconds, including like the entire lifting the leg sequence. Uh, so then with the leg being all the way retracted, we can also like spin out of the way and get out of the way for other teams to possibly double climb with us. Uh, yeah, we just we can climb with under two seconds, which has been really helpful with us for us this season. Uh, we've had a few matches where we were about at the rocket with about five seconds left. We got back and climbed, which has been really helpful. We've only missed the Hab RP I think two times, and one of them was because our partners were dead. But you know, stuff happens. So that was one of our goals this year to make sure we always get that Hab RP. So uh, I guess uh, as far as programming goes, uh, one of the main things this year that was a bit of a jump for us was uh, that, the, that the main sensor on this robot is all just uh, on the vision from the camera. Um, so for picking up panels, we use the camera for, uh, to figure out how far away we need to be. So all of picking up panels is just done with uh, just the press of one button. Uh, Evan, the driver, just has to press one button, and that makes the robot drive to, to the panel, uh, triggers the intake to pick up the panel, and then all that, all that driving and turning is done completely autonomously uh, by taking in the camera to get distance and angle. Um, in addition, uh, for uh, picking up balls, uh, we don't have a sensor or anything on the on the intake. We just look at the uh, at the current draw from the motor or from the neo on there. Uh, so as soon as the current spikes, it just uh, picks up the uh, picks up the ball and flips the wrist up. Uh, no input from any other sensor required. Um, and then on top of that. Uh, we also use the, uh, the, the vision to, um, to line up when we're going to place panels. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's not that whole lot of talk. <laughs> that's, a, that's, crazy. <laughs> that's quite all right. So, again, thank you to Cole, Evan, and Nick for your time and the rest of Symbotics. Uh, Ontario Provi Provincial Champs this year and uh, doing really well in the Curie Division so far. And uh, good luck the rest of the way this weekend, guys. Thank you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.
You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.